COVID-19, Yoruba group Afeniferi reacts to Buhari's broadcast. Pan-Yoruba social cultural group Afeniferi has said that the gradual easing of the lockdown in the country should be combined with social safety measures to slow down the rate of infection. The group was reacting to President Muhammad Buhari's broadcast on government's measures to address the spread of the COVID-19 in the country, while also keeping the economy running. Buhari had announced the gradual easing of the lockdown he imposed on the Federal Capital Territory, Lagos and Ogun states in his broadcast on Monday night. But spokesman of the group, Yinka Odumaki, said, We are in a difficult situation that tasks health workers and leaders across the world. They have no solutions to what we face and they are just making efforts. The gradual easing on lockdowns to keep productivity on should be combined with, effort, with enforcement of social safety measures to keep the rate of affliction as low as possible. The government has to commit to more palliatives by giving edibles that are good and to the people and not spoilt ones as we have seen lately. In his broadcast, the president disclosed some new nationwide measures to be introduced. There will be an overnight curfew from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. This means all movements will be prohibited during this period except for essential duties as services, he said. Buhari also banned non-essential interstate passenger travel until further notice, while allowing a partial and controlled interstate movement of goods and services. We will strictly ensure the mandatory use of fixed masks or coverings in public in addition to maintaining physical distancing and personal hygiene. Furthermore, the restrictions on social and religious gatherings shall remain in place. State governments, corporate organizations and philanthropists are encouraged to support the production of cloth masks for citizens the president added so all right guys what are your thoughts concerning what um, the yoruba social cultural group or the pan europe has come out to say in this particular issue do you guys agree with uh, what the affinity group has come out to say well it's what it is The situation is tense at the moment and uh, people actually need to uh, be safe. At the same time, people also need to uh, get things done, uh, get their jobs in place. But what can we say at this moment? What the president has said is just um, in, as good for the time that we are if we need to be realistic to ourselves. Well, the Affiliary Group, what they are trying to say is actually that um, they should combine all that the president has said with social safety measures. And what do they actually mean by social safety measures? Social distancing is part of social safety measures. Uh, religious gathering is still not um, open yet for people. So nothing like church attendance or mosque attendance for now there is nothing like partying clubbing and all what have you uh, concerts all what have you 
for now are put on hold. So these are social measures. So based on this, I can we conclude that the uh, uh, Yoruba group, the Afghan federal group, just needed to react so that uh, their presence will be felt? Because based on all they have said, I do not see any significant addition or bring less ideas that they have recommended or that they have said that the president did not capture in his speech. So I think this particular reaction of uh, the spokesperson of the Afeni Ferry is just a reaction and um, probably uh, supporting or uh, agreeing to what the president has said. Because of all the speeches that Mr. President has actually made, the one he made, the last speech uh, broadcast he made or speech he made, for me, seemed to be the best. At least he captured a good number of uh, issues that needed to be captured. Although he did not say when schools will resume, which is a very important aspect of the society. And he did not say that while schools are yet to resume, what alternative means do they have to actually uh, begin to uh, administer uh, their learning? So these are issues that the country needs to work on. Other countries are applying the virtual learning, which is important or which is as good, you know, as an option. It may not be the best as it were, but it's a good option. So if Nigeria and the government can begin to put plans in place to uh, develop virtual learning, it will go to a very long, uh, it will go a very long way to help in assisting or um, making easing the the it will go a long way in easing the the, the learning process for our uh, students and pupils from the least educated to the highest educated so guys it is what it is and it is very very important i think that is what should be done i think that is what the president should enforce from the look of things now the coronavirus has made it so clear that the world will be depending largely on technology the internet henceforth so nigeria must step up you know in this industry nigeria must step up their their, their game in the technology and the, the internet uh, industry the telecommunications industry to ensure that we are one of the best and to ensure that there is a steady non-interrupted supply and uh, of internet so the nigeria the leadership of this country needs to work with the telecommunications to ensure that we give telecommunications the best support and the best um uh and uh, how do i put it now business environment to thrive because very soon almost everything we'll do will depend on the internet now people need to work from home, people have to work from home and all what have you because of what the COVID-19 has actually done. So physical presence in uh, gatherings will be reduced to a great and a large extent. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? The world is tilting towards an advanced level where physical gathering might be limited. Physical gathering will be limited. In the nearest future, probably 5 years, 10 years, 15, 20 years from now, there will be a huge tilt and shift from the norm that we have today to a new set of norm. And technology, internet, telecommunications will form the foundation and the base on which the livelihood of humans will thrive whether we like it or not so one would expect that the government will do all that it can and all everything possible and to invest heavily and well in this sector to ensure a smooth running of everyone's life and affairs come the nearest future be that as it may guys what are your thoughts on this particular news story 
I'd like you to please kindly drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, please do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much for your time, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.